so I absolutely love this exercise. I use it all the time. It has all of the elements you would think you would need in an exercise. It covers all grounds, dexterity, finger skipping, uh, finger raking, uh, dexterity in the left hand or your picking hand. Uh, it just covers all ground except for melodic, really. It's not really that melodic. But anyway, I'm going to show you why you need this and I'm going to show you how to play it. It's not actually as hard as it sounds. Here we go. So for this exercise, it's not really that complicated theory wise. You just need to understand a pattern. You can start it wherever you like. That's the beauty about this exercise. And once you get the hang of the first one, all you're doing is moving it up a chromatic step or half step chromatically up the fretboard. So I'm starting on B flat on the G string. So all you have to do is realize or recognize this pattern. Okay, it's a five note pattern. That's why I'm doing it in five, four, the time signature five, four. Okay, so five beats in a measure. So I'm doubling up the notes. You got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that's the actual exercise right there. That's all you need to understand. That's all you need to learn. Other than that, you're just moving it up at half step. So let's go over that really quick. So all together. That movement right there sounds very complicated. It sounds like, what the heck did you just do? But it's really not that difficult. Pay attention to the pattern. Pay close attention to the pattern. Okay, so you're playing. So you're doing fourths, like uh, almost like a circle of fourths, but you're not. it's not really a circle. You're playing D, G, C, F, and then you're moving up a half step and doing the same exact thing. Okay? Group that part together. That's probably going to be the most difficult part to get around. So you see what I mean with this finger skipping? You're really raking the strings when you're doing that. So it's actually making you more comfortable with skipping strings and, you know, doing that one, one, two, two pattern. After a while, you'll just be able to rake it and not even think about it. So that's the whole entire pattern. I'm not even going to be redundant and go up the fretboard because you guys know exactly what to do once you get that pattern and you land on that last note. It actually sets you up for the next half step that you have to play. <laughs> That was like perfect timing. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was funny. I don't know. I don't even know what that was. So you guys get the pattern. Boom. Next. Okay. So I'll try to have this written out so it's easy to follow along or just kind of like the tab or, you know, just to see it because it's more so just a pattern based exercise and you can just run away with it. It's very, very easy to play once you get the hang of it or maybe even turn it into some type of crazy sound and lick or something. Be creative. I don't know. Something like a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Take it and run with it and just have fun with it like I do. Uh, you can bring it up as far as you possibly can, but I would recommend no less than four frets. You know, from the B flat to the D flat. And if you haven't already, please, those of you who are watching this right now and are not subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. We upload here every single week, multiple times a week, actually. And if you're interested in learning more or taking your bass playing to the next level, the Bass Nation Academy, I'll put the link in the description. It's an academy. It's a course filled online course based school uh, where we learn every single day. You can submit your videos. You get personal feedback from me. It's the whole nine yards. I would check it out. It has tons of beginners courses. Uh, tons of slap courses, uh, chords courses, if you're interested in playing chords, theory courses, bass theory, all that you want to know is all there. Check it out in the description and I'll meet you guys over there if you're interested in that. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.